What is the name of this course and what is it about? This course is MPTX 519 and the title is International Approaches to Medical Product Regulation. And this course um, provides an overview of how medical products are regulated in different countries outside of the United States. So U.S. Food and Drug Administration uh, only has the authority for products that are marketed uh, in the United States. Outside of the United States, different countries and different regions have their own rules and regulations and regulatory authorities that govern the products that are marketed in their region. And so uh, it's important for those who are interested in working in uh, this biomedical uh, industry to understand the similarities and differences uh, between or among the diff various regulatory authorities. So, um, because you know, increasingly this industry is becoming more and more global. Okay, so who would take this course? Okay, so this course is for those who are already familiar with the US FDA regulations, either through their work, current work, or through some of the other courses that are offered in our regulatory science program, and would like to understand how these products are regulated outside of the United States. Okay. Is there a prerequisite to this course? I highly recommend that they either take uh, some of the introductory courses, such as 511, um, or they already are familiar with some of the topics that are covered in 511, the Introduction to Medical Product Regulation course. And, and what is the approach in this course? How, how is it taught? And what are the projects and things? Right. So uh, the way that the course is organized, we spend about half of the time going over the regulations in Europe for both drugs and devices. And then the rest of the time, we spend um, looking at uh, regulations um, in Asia and Latin America, which are becoming, um, which are emerging as the, the, the area of growth. These are very key market for future growth of the industry. So we'll, go, we'll, we'll start off the course with an overview of the, the, the medical product um, industry, kind of looking at the global market. And we will also go through some of the areas of harmony and dissonance among the various regulatory authorities. And then we will go through region by region, um, uh, country by country. Obviously, we can't cover all the countries in the world. But through, uh, through this course, um, the students will have a pretty good sense of some of the areas of focus in terms of the differences uh, between the different among um, among the different uh, regions and countries, and you s kind of see a pattern um, of some of the areas that are similar, some of the aspects that are similar, and then some of the areas that that are that are kind of seen as hurdles. For example, U.S. For in the United States, there's a process um, of conducting clinical trials where you have to go through what's called an, an IND process in the FDA. So you'll be able to kind of see some of the parallel processes that are in place outside of the United, United States. And so some, some um, regions have a more cumbersome pro process in the United States, uh, and some regions have more streamlined process as compared to the United States. So you can kind of compare and contrast the different process that are, processes that are in place in different regions. Okay, and are there projects, exams? So this is a, a, a really a wonderful opportunity in this class, but because we um, invite uh, speakers um, from around the country and around the world to come and share their 
their depth of knowledge and experience because no one can really talk about uh, developing products in, in China better than somebody who's actually on the ground in Beijing doing the work. So the students get to really um, uh, hear from these, these uh, um, experts around the world. Um, but also, it also gives them an opportunity to network with them. Uh, so, you know, networking is a big part of, of this uh, working in this field. So, I think we give the, the students that op unique opportunity. Uh, the, the classes are, are organized so that we have five on site sessions that are interspersed um, with online sessions through virtual offices. Um, and then we have, in terms of deliverables, we have uh, in-class tests, a midterm test that's, in uh, that's administered in class. And um, we have individual deliverables in terms of um, um, research papers. But then again, we have a, a group project um, that, that takes on a, a team approach. Um, to, to research and, and answer some interesting questions. Very good. Okay, is there anything else you'd like to say? Well, the, um, we're very excited to have students come and, and be exposed to this very international uh, topic in hopes that they will be um, inspired to take on new positions that would take them to, to faraway places uh, to pursue very exciting projects. So it, it'll, it'll um, open their eyes uh, in terms of what's out there outside of the United States, the border of the, uh, of the US, but also um, maybe open their eyes in terms of some of the, the cu cultural aspects that come into play when you're conducting business outside of the US. So it's an exciting class, and I think you'll have a lot of fun with it, and, and hopefully it'll open doors for your future. Very good, thank you. Thank you.